Pipedrive have just revamped their plans and tweaked their pricing. In this video, I'm going to explain what changed for existing customers who are now going to benefit from some new features. And to new users, I'll help you decide which plan is best. Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome back to another one of our Pipedrive training videos. Now with these recent price changes, the good news is the plans are generally getting a lot better from a functional point of view. All of the plans now include new features that we didn't have before, and some of the lower tiers actually get features that previously were only available if you paid for the higher subscriptions. This is a really positive improvement and welcome change for existing customers. Or if you are considering signing up for Pipedrive, or maybe you're still in your trial period, then click the link in the description below to request a quote from us. As a platinum partner and reseller, we can offer billing services to new users, we offer discounts on the retail price, and we offer support and training. So let's go through these plans one by one. I'm going to explain what's changed, what's new, and who or what type of customer I think the plan is best for. So starting off with the light plan, this replaces what used to be called the essential. Firstly, there has been no change to the price. If you pay monthly or annually, the price is the same as before. And now we have new features in this light plan. In terms of new features on the light plan, firstly, uh, the light plan now includes this feature, deal card customization. This is a feature that allows you to customize what information appears on your deal cards in your pipeline, which previously was only available on the higher tiers. It's now been moved down to the light plan. So great new feature available to users on this plan. The light plan also now comes with the pulse toolkit and sales feed. These are features, again, previously only on the higher plans that help you to nurture prospects and follow up with the highest quality opportunities. Further down, a really welcome change is the addition of two-factor authentication and 2FA enforcement. So now, again, previously you had to be on a higher plan to get these features. Now, even on the light plan, you can use two-factor authentication to really secure your account and enforce that across your team. And finally, the another added feature is the web to mobiles call feature. Again, this has been moved down to the light plan so you can click a phone number in Pipedrive and actually make the call from your phone. Now, I recommend the light plan to new business owners who are really trying to keep their costs down. Maybe you just want a really simple CRM. Perhaps you've been getting away with using like an Excel spreadsheet up to this point, and you now want to dip your toes into trying an actual sales CRM like Pipedrive. In that case, the light plan is a great way to get started at a really affordable price. Next up, we have the growth plan, which replaces what used to be called the advanced plan. Again, pricing has not changed. It's still $39 per month billed annually or $49 per month US billed monthly. So no price change there, but we get new features. Similar to the light plan, we get the deal card customization, which again used to only be available on the higher plans. Also the Pulse Toolkit and Sales Feed, again, new features coming to uh, the Growth Plan. In terms of automation, the Growth Plan gets the new If Else conditions. I actually made a video about this last week. This is a feature we've been waiting for for years now. It's gonna make building automations a lot easier and I'm really pleased this is available in the Growth tier. And another really welcome change to the Growth Plan is the Product Revenue and Deal Revenue Forecast Reports. Revenue forecasting was something generally only available on the professional or higher plans, but now that's been brought down to customers on the growth plan, so really nice to have that. The growth plan also includes the new sequences feature. Stay tuned for a video we have coming out next week where I actually explain how this new feature works. This is a great way of creating a follow-up cadence for you or your sales team to follow. And similar to the light plan, two-factor authentication and 2FA enforcement is also now available on the growth plan. In my opinion, the growth plan really is the minimum subscription that most Pipedrive users should have. After you've started on the light plan, you've given Pipedrive a go, I usually recommend upgrading to the growth plan to unlock more powerful features. On the growth plan, you can connect your Gmail or Microsoft email for sending and receiving emails natively in Pipedrive. You can also do bulk follow-up and you can compose emails with templates. So this makes it a lot quicker and easier to follow up with your prospects. 
The growth plan also comes with the automation capabilities, so you can actually systemize and automate steps in your sales process. For example, when you move a deal to a certain stage, or maybe when you win or lose a deal, you could automate sending an email or creating an activity for somebody on your team. If you pay annually at $39 per user per month, that's a little bit more than a dollar a day per salesperson, which I think is a great price for a CRM that I guarantee, if you use it well, will help you to grow revenue and close more deals. Okay, next up, we have the premium plan, which replaces what used to be called the professional plan and also the power plan. There used to be a uh, fourth option here called power. Now, power and professional have both been consolidated into this new premium option. There has been a slight price increase here on the monthly rate. It's now US $79 a month instead of the old 69 rate. But the good news is if you pay annually, it's still the same price as before. $49 a month per user build annually. Uh, that's about a 38% saving. So if you have tried pipe drive on the premium, you know you're committing to it, just sign up annually. The saving is really generous. The premium plan also includes the new if else conditions that I mentioned before, the new sequences feature, and there is a new team inbox feature coming to the premium plan. This is a feature our customers have been asking us for for a while. This allows you to sync a team inbox. For example, if you have a sales at or info at email address and you want your team working from a shared inbox, this is now possible and available on the premium plan. The premium plan also now comes with a new custom scoring feature and firmographic data enrichment. These are new features that will be slowly coming out over the short term if you're not seeing that in your account already. The premium plan also includes AI functionality to help you write and summarize emails. And similar to the previous plans, we also now have two-factor authentication and 2FA enforcement on the premium plan. And one final really welcome addition to the premium plan is the inclusion of Lead Booster. Now the Lead Booster add-on used to be a separate add-on that you would have to pay separately on top of your normal subscription. Now Lead Booster, which you can use to create web forms, chatbot, or put a live chat on your website, now that comes standard included with the premium and ultimate plans so you don't have to pay for it separately. It's 24 hours later, I recorded this video yesterday, but I was just looking at Pipedrive's website and I realized that Projects is now included with the premium plan. So before you had to add on project seats on top of the professional plan, now with premium you get projects for free, so that's a really nice saving if you are on the premium plan. I recommend the premium plan to users who are ready to graduate from the lower tier and unlock more functionality who want to just do more in Pipedrive or for larger companies that need to manage bigger sales teams. There's some really nice features in the premium plan. For example, the Smart Docs add-on, which comes standard. So if you want to send contracts to be digitally signed, instead of having to pay for a se separate tool like DocuSign, you can send contracts or quotes natively through Pipedrive. The premium plan also comes with team management and reporting capabilities. So it is the better option for larger sales teams. Sales managers and business owners will like the premium plan for the more powerful reporting and dashboard capabilities. And with all the other features and capabilities, of the premium plan, setting up required fields, formula fields, lead scoring, automatic assignment, the lead booster add-on. These things just allow you to do a lot more with Pipedrive, allowing you to save time and close more deals. And finally, we have the ultimate plan, and this replaces what used to be called enterprise. And the good news here is that the pricing has actually gotten cheaper. So on the monthly plan now, it's now $99 a month as opposed to $129 that it used to be, and annually we're now down to $79 per user per month billed annually instead of $99 which we had before. So great to see Pipedrive offering um, some more affordable pricing on this highest tier. In terms of features, uh, firstly with the Ultimate Plan, you also get email and phone data enrichment. If you have leads or prospects you are trying to reach out to, Pipedrive can help you find the correct phone number or email to use. Again, the Ultimate Plan comes with the Lead Booster add-on standard. You don't have to pay anything like you did before. It also comes with the team inboxes, but you can sync up to five shared inboxes if you have different email addresses that you want to use. 
And one of the main differences with the Ultimate Plan is the addition of security alerts and rules where you can enforce different security practices for your team. So generally for larger enterprises where security is a larger concern, these added features are, uh, are generally going to mean that the ultimate plan is, is the way to go. And the final benefit of the ultimate plan is you get a non-developer sandbox account. This is great if you want to be able to test different features or create automations without interrupting your main primary account. You get a sandbox account that you can have a play with. A couple of other minor changes to be aware of. Firstly, with some capacity limits, uh, the number of leads or deals you can create per company has been increased across the board. So you're not going to be as limited as we were before in terms of the number of open leads or deals you can have. Also with reports, we can now create more reports than we used to. In terms of automations here, a slight tweak is that now automations are set up at a per company level rather than for individual users. And finally, there is a new API token limit. So if you are integrating Pipedrive with other tools through a marketplace app, or if you're using an automation tool like Zapier or Make, there is a new API token limit which determines how many tokens you can consume per day. Overall, these plan changes have been a welcome improvement to Pipedrive. Each plan now comes with new features or functionality that they didn't have before. Prices on the lower plans are the same, so you're actually getting more for the same price. The only price increase is that the cost of that monthly on the premium plan, and actually the price has been decreased on Ultimate, which is nice to see. This all just means that Pipedrive is a more powerful, robust CRM than it was before. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And if you're considering signing up for Pipedrive, then click the link in the description below to book an introductory call with our team, where we can help give you a demo, answer questions, and provide a quote, including a discount on the retail prices that you saw here today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.